What's up, my brothers and sisters all over the world? Well, actually, my blood brothers and sisters all over the world. Welcome back to the channel. Missed you all. Hope everyone's well. Uh, and I'm back at you with another rockin' review. Well, let me, you know, I always got to give a story about before I give you that review. Well, just picture this. You get the confirmation that you're your statue that you've been waiting for for a year and a half, two years, has is on its way and it's just been released to your front door and you can't wait to get home to open, them, open it up and put it together, give it a hug, a kiss, and welcome, welcome him to your family and to open it and find something is wrong. But anyway, a lot has been wrong this week, but you know what? Tomorrow's going to be a good day, uh, heading down to Del Mar, uh, watch the races. Uh, if you guys don't know what Del Mar is, it's a horse race track out by the beach down by San Diego. Me and a bunch of about 15 of us every year, we go down on this time. Uh, it's a big race weekend. And uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I have a small gambling problem. And I probably would be a lot better off financially in life if I didn't uh, find an addictive uh, <laughs> desire to play horses about 25 to 30 years ago. But anyway, it's all good and fun. Uh, and so that should be good. Got some bad news. I, I think I got some bad news on mom today. Uh, I got to take it to the doctor on Tuesday. So hopefully everything works out with her. I think it's gonna be all right. I try to remain positive, man. And uh, I think she's good. If you ever, I mean, if you guys think I'm high spirited at 50, 56 years old, you should see her at 88. I mean, she runs circles around me. So I, 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 know, I know she'll come fighting through. So it's all good, it's all good. She's downstairs resting right now. But anyway, let me dive into this. Uh, this review, even though it's a little jacked up, I'll tell you how it was. When I put it all together, I was like, oh man, this is, obviously we're talking the Queen Studio Batman, uh, which is the, uh, the second piece to the great interrogation scene that is probably one of the greatest scenes in uh, comic book movie history, I believe. I think it was great. Uh, but just imagine you're putting it together and you get to that last part of it, which is always the head. And I put the mask version on and I notice he's wobbling back and forth. I take him off, I put him on his stand and I take the unmasked version and I put it up there and he fits like a glove and he looks great up there. But to recreate that scene, I already have had the, uh, the Heath Ledger sitting on the bench waiting for his partner for six months or so now. So he's gotta be masked when I, when I display them together. But so I take the, uh, the masked version off the stand and he doesn't even stick. So he's demagnetized. So, I was debating, I was like, damn, should I say anything? Or obviously I was gonna say something, but I'm like, say if they don't change it, swap it out for me, I'm gonna be kind of upset because uh, we live in earthquake country. And uh, last thing, we get a little shake up here. Last thing I wanna see is Batman's head rolling down the stairs with just a, a 2.0 earthquake. Then I'd be really upset. So I got on the, uh, the internet, once I saw that, I fired a message to uh, Gem Mint. They're, they're like, hey, let us get back to you. And they've already gotten back to me and they're asking for addition size and everything like that. So I'm assuming they're gonna take care of this problem. Uh, they're, they're well respected throughout the, uh, throughout the collecting community. So I can't, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I think it's gonna be taken care of. But anyway, enough about me talking because that's what I love to do. I guess I think just because of my job, I'm so fired up all the time and I'm, you know, we're, we're in such a rush out there and we're trying to you know, save things and people, whatever, that I'm just, 
I'm just loaded all the time. I don't care what time it is. But anyway, let's get into this Batman. Let's check him out. And you guys tell me what you think. Minus the little wobble. I'll show you guys all that stuff. All right, let's get in there. All right, brothers and sisters. There we go. You know how we do it. Most important part first, which is the head. Always in a statue. Look at the look. I say they nailed them. All right, here's what we're talking about. The, woo. You imagine that rolling down the stairs in the middle of the night. With, on a, on a 2.0 earthquake, I'd go insane. Be like, honey, what's that? Oh, it's just Batman's head rolling down the stairs. Well, that doesn't sound good. I said, no, it don't. <laughs> That's what I would say. All right. Let me peel this guy off. All right, let's get a good look. What you guys think? I think he looks pretty, pretty right on, I guess. Maybe that's why. That's something happened there with the magnet. I don't know, but anyway, let's, let's move on. All right. Let's make our way down. Costume looks great. Belt looks fabulous. Belt absolutely looks fabulous. Looks really, really fabulous. He's pretty simple to put together. They usually are. Uh, the arms come off. Uh, he's got two keys in the base, the base, and the head. He's actually much more heavier than I thought he would be. He he is pretty pretty significantly solid, I have to say. When I picked him up, I was like, wow. Look at that. He looks pretty sick, man. All right. I got this one. I was going to get the half scale that's coming out by Prime One, but I I only got one half scale, and that is Heath Ledger. And I don't know if I want another one, even though I was going to display that if I was to get that right across from Ledger. So it would have made a nice combo. But I decided to go with the one-third scale, and being that I already have the Heath Ledger, and you know, just re recreate the uh, interrogation scene, which is a phenomenal scene, probably one of the best in uh, in comic book movie uh, history. I would have to, I would have to say say so. So I decided to go one-third. I'm not going to get the the half scale. Christian Bale, uh, Dark Knight. So, saved me a lot of money and a lot of space. So, got down to his shoes. Check out the detail. Yeah. 
has a side view of them. The cape came a little wrinkled. I'll show you guys. I think it's just the way they had it because it's already on him. It's You don't put the cape on. It's already on him. And then I think they had it folded the whole time. So, but it is pretty big. Uh, it's a very nice material. Let me swing around here. Let me... One of these days, guys, I will invest in a Lazy Susan. <laughs> My wife keeps offering to buy me one. She's like, I'm gonna buy you one, I'm gonna buy you one. Like, ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The, the back of the costume. Detail in the outfit is really phenomenal. I mean, I didn't expect anything bad from uh, Queen Studios. They look like they were off and running, you know, with great, great product after great product. All right, let's check out that base, guys. See, the base is kind of shaped like a, like the Batman, so. Got a couple of parts to it right here. Uh, pretty simple to put together. There is kind of one part that sticks out a little bit too much, but I don't care about little parts like this. I mean, these things don't bother me. Uh, if it's a head or something that really affects the, uh, the statue's appearance, or I really don't care too much if the base, the pieces, loose or whatever i mean we all get them i'm not gonna bitch and moan about that stuff all right now give you one one more big look Oop. let me open that all right he looks pretty sick right there all right let's get into the uh the bell look <laughs> this i mean this is a wow factor. I mean, this is the reason why I chose the sculpted version over the uh, the rooted hair. I thought his face was done much better with the sculpted hair than the rooted hair. The rooted hair, he seemed like he almost looked like doll-like. So even though I got the ledger with the rooted hair, but Bell looked like a doll with it. The pictures I saw, so. But look at that. I mean, they even got his wart right there on his eye. It's incredible. I mean, they did really, really well with that sculpt. Now, let me, let me swap out the heads. We'll, uh, we'll swap them out. Get back. The way Batman pop out. Woo! Like nothing. And I put him in his, uh, in the stand. And... You can easily pull them off. Watch out. Watch how Bell goes in. Bell goes in like. Boom. Boom. Like he wants to be there. Boom. But look at it. <laughs> he looks great, man. He looks great unmasked. I never thought I would kind of think about displaying him unmasked. But when I see it, he looks, he looks great. I mean, but it does take away from the whole scene thing. I don't know that, you know, I may get bored one day of displaying them, you know, replaying the, uh, the interrogation scene. And I may just be like, hey, I'm going to put bail maskless and put ledger somewhere else. I don't know, but. He looks great, man. <laughs> so, 
All right, guys, I got to get rolling. I got to get up real early. Like I said, we're heading down to Del Mar tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a great time, I hope. So uh, let me know what you think. You know, um, I'm good with answering any questions. And until uh, next time, you guys be safe. Can't wait to get back at you again. Peace.